I'm sick and tired of hearing this. I cannot emphasize how irritated I am about the term lightweight because every single meathead moron is fixated about doing their one rep max on bench press every Monday. <laughs> Please, that's like five-year-old childish nonsense. If you're still doing that, don't leave a comment down below on my video because your IQ is less than the cinder blocks building this wall behind me. If the general consensus, the conventional wisdom in weightlifting is to lift heavy weight, why is anything that's not about to snap your pec into three pieces considered lightweight? It's not. It is moderate weight, and when you reduce the rest time and increase the intensity and perform the range of motion properly, do the exercise as you're supposed to with near perfect muscular contraction, it is more difficult than heavy weight. I said about a year ago that bodybuilding is not about moving the weight from point A to point B, and you guys crucified me in that video. And to be fair, I did look like a vegan fairy boy at the time. Yet when people like Athlean X, John Meadows, and Kai Green talk about lightweight, people listen. Kai Green being the original person I learned this concept from. All right, first thing, you're staying here like this in this fixed position, and you're doing this, you know? Your bicep needs to stretch, it needs to contract. It needs to stretch, it needs to contract. You're here like this, everything's in your front delt and your delts, and you're here. You're doing these movements. Ah, it feels good, ah, ah, you get up, you pump, you feel like, ah, but you're not really training your bicep. So you might need to drop the weight, stretch, squeeze. Stretch, squeeze, that's it. We make it more complicated when we start thinking we need to handle more weight, more weight. The primary goal here is not to contract, not to lift weights. You're not a weightlifter. I'll never be a weightlifter. And for people out there that don't know what a weightlifter and a bodybuilder, what's the difference, I'm gonna explain it to you. A bodybuilder is primarily concerned with contracting his muscles. He contracts his muscles against greater and greater amounts of resistance. By doing that, he's able to stimulate hypertrophy and make his muscles grow. A weightlifter is just concerned about moving weight. You know, and he can boast to you about how much he curls, how much he benches, you know. How much do you lift? You're a weightlifter. It's really not important to me. And as much as I would like to think I don't have to explain this any further, there are probably a bunch of monkeys in the comments going, Hey, well, Kai Green bench presses four plates. Yes, steroids make you strong as hell. You can get somewhat strong as a natural, even lifting moderate weight, and doing heavy compound movements at the beginning of your routine is still good for hypertrophy. Since a large portion of fitness idols are on performance enhancing drugs though, it really twists reality of what's heavy for the average person. The vast majority of Kai Green's training is with moderate weight in the 15 to 20 rep range with a lower rest time. The goal is to take the muscle to failure, not your ligaments, tendons, not to overload your central nervous system, not to go out of breath every single set. And the muscle can very easily be taken to failure without using heavy weight. That is with bodybuilding. Bodybuilding! You powerlifting five by five idiots I think you're bodybuilders. Not strongman, not powerlifting, not Olympic lifting. This is about bodybuilding. You know, get muscle so you can attract dudes in the sauna. The training style is drastically different, whereas with those other specialties, you would actually want to do a routine less focused on muscular contraction. Now, this is what most people actually do in the gym. I call it point A to point B lifting. Some people might refer to it as ego lifting. Performing a movement for the sake of moving the weight from one point to another. With various sports and specialties, as mentioned, powerlifting and strongman, that is the effective training style, especially explosive dynamic training. You know, do you contract your muscles in that movement? Yes, yeah, somewhat, but it's not a slow squeeze and, and stretch like bodybuilding. There is a mind-muscle connection aspect here 
Uh, but I'll cover the point A to point B movement stuff in a separate video entirely. And it's a no-brainer that muscle size doesn't equate directly to strength entirely. Yeah, is someone with more muscle generally stronger than someone else? Probably. But if you look at arm wrestlers, for instance, you know, a lot of them don't really look muscular. They just have big, strong arms, bones, tendons that have developed through their training. And that's not exactly what you want when bodybuilding. You want to focus on the muscle. Ask yourself the question, what is your goal? If you want to look good on the beach, you know, you want to build muscle as quickly as possible. That means bodybuilding. And the goal of bodybuilding is to take the muscle to failure as effectively as possible. As I've said, not the tendons, not the ligaments, not using momentum, and that is best achieved with a light to moderate weight. The only scenario where you should be lifting heavy weights is if your goal involves said heavy weight. Maybe there's a vegan boy at the gym that pops a boner when he sees you bench press 300 pounds and you want to get with him. By all means, if that's your thing, you can do it. Athletes aren't squatting five plates. They're doing lots of dynamic and explosive movements with light to moderate weight. You know, maybe some occasional heavy stuff here and there. If you want to be a power lifter, if you want to do strongman, if you want to do Olympic weightlifting, heck, if you just want to be strong in general, then do what that entails. Calisthenics, for instance. If you want to be good at calisthenics, you have to do the exercises. Pull-ups, push-ups, dips, whatever. So why do we have all of these fitness influencers and experts convincing novice weightlifters to lift heavy weight, to do these progressive overload 5x5 starting strength routines that are focused on weight as opposed to sets, volume, intensity, all of that stuff. I really don't know. Uh, are they doing it because it's simple? Are they intentionally trying to get people injured? That doesn't sound right. Are they simply misguided and ingrained in that heavy lifting bro mindset? That worked really well for Ronnie Coleman, didn't it? How many surgeries has he had now? Can the poor guy even walk anymore? Compared to someone like Phil Heath, who was relatively injury-free to my knowledge, at the end of the day, both Ronnie Coleman and Phil Heath achieved a high level near maximum muscular development with drastically different training styles. The thing is, each of them brought the muscle to failure as often as possible throughout their years and years of bodybuilding. So thank you guys for joining me today. Leave Frankie Boy a comment down below. And there's a bunch of ways you guys can support me in the description. I am working on my fitness website and hopefully I will also get my routine out to you guys sooner than later. Hopefully things start opening up again. Otherwise we might delay it a little bit. Either way, I'm gonna start tapering some fitness videos into my channel. And I think we might even do, you know, two or three fitness oriented videos a week. Uh, maybe two workout videos and, and then have some fitness in the vlogs. Now, I'm working really hard, guys. I'm trying to just push, push, push. <laughs> I don't know how much longer I can last, but uh, we'll see. I'll see you guys tomorrow. What's today? Thursday? We're doing a live stream later on Frank Tufano, 8 p.m. Eastern Time.